Hey, Spirit and Truth family, Rob here again, and I just want to take a minute this time to explain our values. What do we hold dear as a church? What are our convictions about how then we should live in this world? Well, we have four pillars that give us the main categories, revival, people, kingdom, culture, that, that we want to be revival people living kingdom culture. We want to have God revive us from the inside out, which then spreads into the community. Uh, we want to be a church focused on people and relationships uh, that we're not just numbers, but that we actually are friends. And then we want to people people about the kingdom. We want to be a community that is bringing God's kingdom to earth. And lastly, culture. We want to actually affect real change in the world. But those are the pillars, revival people bringing kingdom culture. However, we have values underneath of each of those pillars. And it's really amazing how it all worked out. You can see this on the web page if you happen to be on our website watching this video. If not, you can go there and you can see the breakdown of how each of these pillars has two values underneath it. Under the pillar of revival, we have desperation and repentance. First, desperation. We want to be a people hungry for God, that are willing to be desperate for him, that are that recognize our own need, that as Jesus said, we are poor in spirit, and that the hungry shall be satisfied. Those that hunger and thirst for righteousness shall be satisfied. And we want to be those kind of people. And second, repentance, that to see real revival, we have to get real about our sin and actually be willing to turn from it, repent from it, and run to the arms of grace found in our Father. The second pillar, people, well, there's two values underneath that. First, intimacy. We want to be a people that are really connected to God and each other, that we're intimate, we're vulnerable, we're authentic, we're real, that we have, as one counselor once told me, into me you see, intimacy, into me you see, that we're allowing people in to our lives and not just putting on the facade. And the second one underneath people is purity. I think this should be a core value of every church, and yet I've never heard it actually be a core value of any church that I've been a part of, and that's purity. Uh, first, pure motives and a pure heart, that we're not doing this for the money or the fame, or we're doing this for the kingdom of God. But second, the purity of sexual integrity, that God really, really emphasizes this all throughout the Old and New Testament, particularly for spiritual leaders, that we would have utmost integrity in the area of sexual purity. And then under kingdom, we have faith and generosity. Faith that we would be a people that, yes, believe the gospel and believe God, but even more so that people that have faith for big things, that we believe God to do amazing things in us and through us and around us in our community, that we risk big for the kingdom and watch God back it up in our businesses and homes and church. And then also generosity, that along with that faith, we're able to just give radically. God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. God is a giver, and we want to be generous with our time, talent, and treasure to see the kingdom advance. The last pillar category is culture, and our values are power and love, that we want to walk in the supernatural power of God. We want to be people that have his power to overcome sin, his power to see healings, and to see miracles, and his power to really move the kingdom forward in boldness of preaching, but also love. We want to be people that have genuine, self-sacrificing, empathetic, and compassionate love, because without love, it's all clinging symbols. So those are the spirit and truth, pillars and values.